you keep saying you got something for me. Just had an awesome God shots and I wanted to share, do a little fun giveaway this wonderful Friday right before Mother's Day. We're gonna be having a really big sale at the Merc in just a few minutes. Um, but first, I'm gonna give one of you a pair of these new Smith and Mara earrings. I am so obsessed. They're a little stud with an extender kind of attachment to them so that you can do it as long. There's like three different spots. Mine's on the tightest right now. These are all Smith and Mara. Everyone always asks about that one. That's Smith and Mara also. But I have them in both ears. You can wear them in one ear, just like as a fun thing or you whatever. So you'll get two, one, two. Um, and you guys can enter on the reel, but make sure you're following Smith and Mara. And that's it. Happy Friday. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> site wide 20% off we got a whole bunch of new stuff I'm so excited about this one these awesome wood bowls those are new that's the same art right there oh these I love these because I'm in my little French era right now. They're all framed. The new sailor, just everything. Our new hats. Got new hats and new bags, all of our banners, all of our shirts. 20% off. But we are not all-knowing. We're not omniscient, which means all-knowing, right? We have no context for what's really happening in the world, in the spiritual world or in the context of eternity. Only God knows. Only God knows everything and only God sees everything. If we believe the truth that he is good and loving, then we have to trust him even when we can't see the good and we can't see the love. Before, after, before, after. I think there's some real music to that. So this is our old decking and we did not do this area because this is all getting covered, which the architect is coming in about 10 minutes and we're gonna finalize the plans. She just texted me right now, a few minutes away. Um, so I'll show you guys that later, but look at how amazing the deck looks. Back here, this looks incredible and it'll all go down these steps that they had to rebuild. Look at the color, it looks so good. I am obsessed, so much better. The architect just left and I am so excited to show you guys what we are gonna do to the house. I do have like a little visual, but we're gonna change a whole bunch of it. She's gonna send it over to me probably next week, so I'll show you guys when it gets updated. But I'll do a little quick walkthrough so I can just show you. Uh, we are actually going to eliminate the table and this built-in bar and this is going to become a built-in seating area that's going to come out like this you got to just work with me here it's gonna it's gonna be awesome um this whole wall right here is going to get opened up because we're going to get rid of the stoves i mean sorry the ovens right here so this wall will now be pushed back to the laundry room this will go back to being a laundry room all of this, this wall is gonna get completely opened up. The fridge is gonna go over there. This is all getting built in and going to be our new pantry. <gasps> Look at our new wood, it looks so good. I'm so excited about that. So this wall will be gone here. There's gonna be little built-in seating underneath the windows here. Fireplace is gonna go all the way up with the design because it's gonna mirror kind of what's happening over here with the built-in. 
These beams are gonna get wrapped in the wood, the same that's in our bedroom. This is all gonna be planked with oak. We'll keep this brick, but we're gonna incorporate like a soapstone. These are gonna be like rustic kind of wood, like a giant island that goes in this whole area. That window is gonna go away. So that whole room I've shared before is gonna be like a full on media room. I'll kind of show you like the little sketch up that she has, but this is now gonna change. We just changed a bunch of stuff. So like this is gonna be gone. I'm not gonna do the island that way. This table will be gone and this will be the nook here with the wall. I'm so excited. It's just gonna make it feel more functional and just like us. I had so many people ask about these, don't mind the wedgie, I just sat down about these shorts from today. So I just linked them, but also I really just threw these in when we were in Nashville. I got them in Nashville. We found Dino a new brand of clothes while we were there that just takes him up another level. Like, we're like, you're a man now. <laughs> Called Buck Mason. I'd never heard of them before. I wish I could work with them, get some kind of code, but I don't have one, sorry. Um, but he'll, we're gonna go on a date tonight, so he'll, he'll wear one of the outfits, but they're just so, like, they fit him well. They look sophisticated. He looks like himself, but also just like, you know, Gabe's wearing his clothes now, so he needs to wear something just a little more elevated, I guess, but still Dino, it's good. So this is one of the outfits that we got him. They call it a fit. This That's is what a they fit we got him. Use. This is a little bit dressier with the little sweatery top. And we have the shorts with a tiny little like ticking stripe you in like there. That? Pleated. 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 Actually, that's not a ticking stripe. It looks like a little herringbone stripe. Mm. And um, just a little bit different. Gap, what do you think? I like it. <laughs> looks cozy. 